As we said before, today's payload is the Echo Star 105 SES 11 satellite. Uh, as we're waiting for the countdown to get a little bit closer, let's take a look at exactly what this payload is. Reusability is the fundamental breakthrough needed to reduce the cost of access to space. A fully and rapidly reusable rocket, which has never been done before, is the key to establishing not just outposts, but also self-sustaining cities on other planets. Now, the cost of fuel for each flight of the Falcon 9 is only about $200,000 to $300,000, which is only about a four-tenths of a percent of the cost of a rocket. The majority of the launch cost comes from building the rocket, which, if it only flies once, makes for a very expensive ride. However, recovering and reusing the rocket multiple times, the way a commercial airliner is reused over and over again, significantly reduces the cost of an individual flight, since the capital expenditure to build the vehicle can be spread out over many flights. Being able to re re uh, reduce the cost of the rocket uh, and reuse it has the potential and is the key to establishing a city on Mars. We need to get the cost of a launch down to a level where a critical mass of people can actually afford to go. Let's take a look at how the rocket is, go is doing as we get closer and closer to liftoff. Uh, the first stage and the second stage of the rocket are almost fully loaded with about 1 million pounds of propellant and liquid oxygen in total. Uh, we'll continue topping off uh, both fuel and liquid oxygen until about T minus 2 minutes. At T minus 7 minutes, we had an engine chill, which is when we flush those engine compartments of the Merlin 9 engines with cold liquid oxygen to get them to their operating temperature. Uh, the next few minutes here as we get closer, here are the next things that are going to happen. Uh, first of all, that strong back transporter erector to the left of the rocket is going to retract slightly and then fully recline as the rocket leaves the pad so it can clear. Uh, the rocket is currently also pressurizing with helium. Uh, a good part of the rocket's strength comes from the pressure inside the tanks and we use helium to create that pressure. At about T minus 60 seconds, uh, the rocket's internal flight computer is going to take over. You'll hear a call out on the launch net saying Falcon 9 is in startup. Uh, so let's recap. The payload is sounding, uh, it sounds like the teams are saying the payload is good to go. Range is good and weather is crystal clear. Let's listen in to the last few minutes of the countdown.
stage two lock load is complete. Vehicles in self line. Vehicle gas calls out started. AFTS is ready for launch. F9 is in startup. Minus 30 seconds. Stage one, final flight press. Minus 15, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stage one prop looks good. Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through the atmosphere, carrying the Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload to geostationary transfer orbit after a successful liftoff from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Vehicle supersonic. In about 10 seconds, the rocket is going to be passing through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure that is called Max-Q. Nine Merlin engines currently uh, thrusting produce the thrust of seven foot, sorry, five 747s at full thrust. That's how much power the Falcon 9 is producing right now. And back engine shell started. In about 30 seconds, those nine Merlin engines are going to shut off in events called uh, MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. Once MECO happens, there'll be two other uh, very quick succession stages happening after that. The first is going to be the stage separation, where the first stage separates from the second stage and comes back towards the drone ship. And then after that, second engine start one, which is when the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage ignites to carry the payload the rest of the way to orbit. Stand by for MECO very soon. We have eco. Stage separation. Head back to mission. You can hear the applause from mission control. Uh, it looks like that we had a successful Miko main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, and a successful start 
of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Uh, for those of you just joining us, on the left-hand side, you can see the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket currently expanding its grid fins, uh, getting ready for its ascent or descent back down through the atmosphere. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the engine nozzle of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. In about 10 seconds, we're going to see the fairing, which is protecting the Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload, uh, deploy from that second stage. There it is. And you saw a successful deployment of the fairing. Fairing is only needed while in the dense uh, region of the atmosphere to protect it from aerodynamic loads. Now that we're out of the atmosphere, we can jettison it. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. You can see those cold gas thrusters on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, those help orient the first stage of the rocket so that it's pointed in the right direction as it comes back down through the atmosphere. So that first stage is currently pretty high up in the atmosphere. It's still, uh, the gas of the atmosphere, atmosphere is still very thin uh, up there. So in, as it approaches the much, much thicker parts of the atmosphere lower down, it's going to execute an entry burn in about a minute and a half. Uh, this entry burn is going to slow the rocket down so that as it hits the thicker parts of the atmosphere, it doesn't experience any uh, excessive heating from compression of the atmosphere. When on the launch pad, the Falcon 9 rocket is actually, the weight of the Falcon 9 uh, rocket is actually about 90% fuel. Uh, so right now that first stage is mostly empty, having expended most of its fuel to get the second stage up to orbit. Uh, that first stage, uh, therefore, because it's so light, doesn't really need that much thrust to slow down. Uh, those Falcon 9, en sorry, the, Mer the Merlin uh, engines actually operate at full thrust regardless of how much fuel is in the rocket. Um, so the entry burn is only about a minute long. Excuse me, 20 seconds long. Entry burn is only about 20 seconds long, starting in about a minute. Currently, we're getting good telemetry back from the first stage and the second stage. Trajectory is good for both. And the engine chamber on the Merlin vacuum engine is holding steady. We should be seeing the entry burn of that Falcon 9 first stage on the left-hand side of your screen in just about 10 seconds. Stage 1 AFTS has saved. And there is that entry burn beginning. Stage 1 entry burn is there. Still getting good telemetry from the second stage as it continues to climb, carrying that Echo Star 105 SES-11 payload to its intended geostationary transfer orbit. We had a good entry burn, and the first stage is still on track uh, to touch down on the deck of Of Course I Still Love You in the Atlantic Ocean. Georgia AOS. So we don't currently have signal from that first stage, uh, but it is scheduled to start its uh, landing burn in just about stage 30 seconds. Out. Currently the second stage, as you can see on your screen right now, is uh, still burning happily. Uh, we have good telemetry from the second stage. Still on course for a geostationary transfer orbit.
Stage one landing burn has started. Stage two AFTS has saved. This is video from the drone ship, of course, I still Lighting love you. Lights have deployed. And a brief cut out in video there, but as you can see, Falcon 9 Rocket is currently standing on the deck of Of Course I Still Love You. Yet another uh, landing of a successful landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. This is our 18th successful landing of the Falcon 9 rocket. We also had a uh, confirmation of a good second engine cutoff. Uh, this is currently right now the second stage of the rocket is in a coast period. Uh, this coast period is going to last about 20 minutes, uh, but we're not going anywhere. We're just going to give you a quick animation uh, showing exactly where the second stage of the payload is over the surface of the Earth. So we'll be back in just about 20 minutes to guide you through the rest of uh, the second stage burn and payload deploy. Don't go anywhere.